Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I hope everybody is uh, doing fine and everybody is healthy. Alright, for today's video, before I get going, uh, I just want to say I got a lot of messages and emails from a lot of uh, subscribers and requests for uh, this particular video. So I have definitely done that and I'm super excited to share with you. This is definitely part one because I had like so many things to share. So uh, uh, the second part would be coming uh, next next week on Wednesday, definitely. And before I get going, I want to welcome all my subscribers. Uh, a big hi to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm sure that you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids that you can prepare in less than five minutes or 10 minutes uh, in, the, uh, in the house with the stuff that's available for you. And if you haven't subscribed so far, please to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification every time I upload a video. All right. So what are we going to be doing today? We are, um, I'm going to be showing you uh, some pretty cool board games that you can uh, buy for your kids or you can put them in the cart whenever you think uh, you have an occasion to gift or an oc occasion to get for your kids more than ever the kids have been home right so they can't be just studying or just watching tv or just doing activities there have to be a blend of there has to be a blend of everything so these pretty cool games that i have picked up for vivan some he got as his birthday gift last year some i have ordered some we uh, gave it to him when he finished a project just and some we bought with the tooth fairy money or the money that uh, he was uh, he was gifted by his family members or somebody. So I try and keep a balance of all that, but I can't wait to show you guys the three, four, five. I think I'm, I'm showing you seven activities today, seven board games today. I'm sorry. I, keep, I just keep saying activities. I'm sorry. So seven games today and I can't wait to get that started. Okay, guys. So this is part one. There's going to be a part two and I'm going to be linking both of them together. So let's get going and I can't wait to show you all these amazing games. So let's check it out. So guys, the first one that I'm going to show you is called Canoodle Duplexity. It includes 200 puzzles. It's a perfect on-the-go game. The case is so sturdy that it can go like anywhere with you and the kids can carry it out. It's a perfect logical reasoning game. The pack says it's for age 8 to adult. Vivan is uh, 7 and a half right now. I picked it up for him uh, when he was uh, 7. And uh, this is how the game looks like. Let me show it to you quickly. There are um, There is this... Um, a pamphlet where it shows exactly what the game is all about you have all the instructions along with all the other games that they have and this is how the box uh, looks like all right so let me open the box it opens up from here and uh, that's the case that you can carry it's like a pretty pretty strong black box and uh, you can very easily carry from here and all the puzzles all the puzzle cards are right here okay so i'm going to be showing you number uh, so you have number seven and number eight right here you have an empty space here that you can place your card oh uh, let me like make sure that you're able to see that and um and then we have the game right here so what exactly you need to do is you have to follow the card all right and if it says purple and exactly how you have to match and recreate the design let me just tell you guys it's not very easy to recreate we have been able to reach only on number eight so number ninth i'm just going to give you a little snippet of number 11 the way it looks number 13 the way it looks so you have different combinations of cards this is very very high intensive uh, brain teaser and logical reasoning game and um, pretty cool i'm actually linking the game uh, to my amazon store and if you want to pick it up you can definitely pick it up and for the viewers who are in india you can find this game um, on uh, hamleys you can definitely check it out i will try and link that up as well uh, so let's move on to the next game all right, my next game is You Are Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. This is a pretty cool bo uh, <laughs> This is a pretty cool uh, game. It's by Hasbro and it says age 8 plus, 2 to 4 plays. And so far, I have played this game with Vivan like 6 or 7 times. And trust me, we have uh, not got more marks than Vivan. So me, my husband and Vivan. So Vivan generally gets the maximum number of points. It comes with these two scoreboards. And this is how you start. You have the pegboard. It's very messy when you open because there's no lid. So every time I am packing this and opening it up again, it goes all over the place. So 
that's something that I really don't enjoy. But however, uh, if you want to play, it's definitely interesting. And let me just get back to you like by sh um, showing you the cool part. So when it says third grade, you have science, you have vocabulary, you have maths, you have um, you have geography. And these are some of the topics that they cover. And the same topic goes all across first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade. And then there's a special uh, card that gives here uh, that comes here. Let me show it to you how. So like this is U.S. geography, correct? So that's just how you're going to read the question. Let me show it to you if it's. Um, yeah, it says multiple choice. Which one of the following states shares a border with Canada? The options are Oregon, um, Illinois and Vermont. And then you have the answer right here, which is Vermont. But you're going to ask this question. And then you have uh, these pointers, the coins. Uh, where you will be able to play it right here. So every time you answer a question, you go up, you get some points. And these are the extra credit points you have. Uh, definitely a pretty cool and educational game. And you can spend hours and hours. But I think it's pretty cool if you have uh, a lot of friends to play with. The English has uh, grammar and maths has some pretty cool questions. It comes with... Um, this um sorry a pamphlet so this is object answer great school questions correctly to earn money the player with the most money and the games and wins it so there are 250 cards there are two game boards and there are four pawns and then 12 player tokens and card tray and this is how basically the game looks like and uh, i think it's a pretty cool game it's a pretty cool educational game it uh, definitely justifies are you smarter than a fifth grader because there are so many topics that they are covered and they're telling like kids who are less than like from first to fifth grade should be knowing all these topics so definitely a thumbs up from me and uh, yeah i'm gonna link that up as well let's move to the next one all right, guys, my next game is from Think and Fun called Gravity Maze. It's a falling marble logical game. And there are four levels. There's uh, beginners, intermediate, advanced, and expert. And there are 60 beginners to expert challenges. So there are 60 challenges here. It says eight to adult. And I'm telling you, it's like one of the most amazing uh, uh, games. And Think and Fun definitely has some uh, amazing games always, just like uh, Educational Insights. So these two have like very, very good games as compared to smart games that I've always bought or uh, fat brain toys. So these are like some of the companies who really have, and this game got uh, 2015 win. It was a winner as well. And um, let me just quickly, uh, sorry for the sound. So it comes with the board like this, and then you have all the settings here. It's a perfectly fitting thing. So like nothing moves, even if you like keep moving the box here and there, it comes with the card. And this is how you need to set up and you play. Basically, the thing is that the ball needs to reach from one side to another with everything that they say. So you have to uh, make uh, the blocks according to the card and then you and then you play this. So this says select a challenge card and place the tower on the grid as inclined. The goal is create a maze that will carry a marble from the start position to the target tower. So if you see, this was the, that's challenge, challenge number one. That's exactly how you have to make. And then you have to add to grid. Then you have these things which it says you have to add more to the grid. And uh, if you see this, sorry. So this says select a challenge card. They have, you've created this. And then this card shows add to uh, grid. These are the couple of things that you add. And that's exactly how your ball needs to move from one place to another to win the game. So this is a pretty cool game as well, guys. And let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is Vivan's favorite game. He, I don't know why, he just loves it. This is basically um, Bending Light. And again, it's by Thinking Fun. And between Gravity Maze and Laser Maze, Vivan loves this one much more. Um, this is primarily Bending Up Light. So you have, again, 60 challenges and you are like four... Uh, four levels you have beginners inter uh, intermediate advanced and expert all right and again eight to nine but he's almost finished with this one and he loves it he just loves the whole concept the way it is the way the laser is reflecting from here the way it shows it, it happens exactly the same way so basically the kids have to figure it out um the way uh, the light will bend so he is, I think he's on advanced level right now. He has done the rest. 
and again the cards are extremely cool the way they have shown everything this is the content and you have uh, all these pegs it comes with the board you have to put the pegs in and every card that you get you have to solve the question so you definitely have the question here and the answer on the other side so it makes it easy but however there are many ways to solve this game so even if your answer does not match with the card which is behind that doesn't matter till the time your light is moving from one point to another and reflecting the way the card shows you it's perfect okay so this is vivan's recommendation definitely and uh, i think it's really worth the money so all my brownie points really go to this game okay let's move to the next one okay so this is fraction matching by educational insight this says grade 3 plus and age 8 plus um this was gifted to vivan uh, by a friend we kept trying to use it over and over again and but i think this year we have used it a lot it comes with a complete book booklet and it shows you everything about fraction they talk about fraction they have a lot of information about fraction here and uh, as you can see the, it's a tactile thing so you can feel and you can see and the kids can definitely work on it and then below you have all these fraction matching cards it comes with uh, a lot of questions that you need to then build and do so I would say it's a pretty cool game if your kids are starting to do fractions and if you're planning to invest on something, then uh, this is a very, very, very cool uh, game to have. And as you can see, there are many examples that have been done here. They've been told how to create uh, equations or to solve by using the board and by using the cards that are given here. So it's a pretty cool game. Uh, only if you think that you want to invest in getting a special fraction game for your kids only that's when you should invest yeah so my last game i'm just going to show you very quickly all right so this is my last game it's by pavilion so it's a local brand and the game name is called rummyo so if like you've played cars there's a game called rummy and it's primarily based on that definitely it comes with these tactile tiles where you have uh, all these numbers you have your instructions here frankly we have been not able to figure this out so far i think it was way too complicated so vivan and we are still struggling to understand how to do it uh if anyone has played this or you've heard about this do let me know however i'm going to go through this one more time uh in a day or two and figure it out but it comes with these uh pretty cool tie so we generally i generally use this for uh, <laughs> so far for addition multiplication and uh, subtraction i'm using all these tactiles so yeah but i would i would say like it's not a fuss like even if you don't have it or even if it's not in your radar uh, there is no um, rush but definitely it's a pretty cool gifting game like you can definitely gift it to somebody else who uh, who can definitely try it's not very expensive so it's it's one of the games that even if you don't have it's all right so i just wanted to share all these super games with you guys so definitely um our pick in all the games like my pick is definitely canoodle that's my pick and vivan's pick is laser maze uh and these are the two best choices that i think we love it uh guys so if you think these games are pretty cool and this is part one i have another set of games that i want to share with you so these are big board games and i'm going to show you the next ones are like my teeny mini games that we are like always playing all the time and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to save it you want to share it with the family because there are so many festivals that are coming one of the games can definitely be in your cart for the coming future don't uh, forget to subscribe like and please do leave a comment if you have in one of the games or if you are planning to get one of the games uh, it'll be it'll be really great so yes guys thank you so much i hope you guys stay safe take care see you next time